video and now we reach the time in expo where we're going to have a guest in here and we've got Hugh Cornwall uh, from the Stranglers and uh, you're releasing a solo LP in June and That's right, yeah. we're going to be talking a lot about that later but I think we should see your video first from the new single Another Kind of Love and come back later. Now that was a very intense video, I really like that one, it's very different from what I've seen lately. I mean, very special, I really like that. But you work with the Czechist animator, Czech animator. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, how did you get the idea to work with him? I, I saw his work on an animation festival last year and I was stunned by his work and I thought if we could persuade him to make a video, it would be a good idea. Jan Swankmeyer, he hasn't yeah. been working with any other Western artists before. Is, I mean, um, how did you convince him that... It was difficult. I guess he, he doesn't like music. He thinks music is uh, the end of Western civilization, spells the end of Western civilization. And uh, he said the Western civilization will die with uh, a song on its lips, you know. Uh -huh. Very poetic. Yeah. And uh, he said, but I've seen some. I said, have you seen a pop video? Um, he said, yes, I've seen them at a Madrid Film Festival. I switched on my television and I saw some. I said, what do you think? He said, they're terrible. And that's how you And I think them. that's why that's probably swayed the balance, yeah. Yeah. Was that, did you work with him just because you thought that it was brilliant work or did you work with him because you liked the idea that he was not from Western country, he was actually from East Europe and that would make, I mean, a different thing? Well, it, I think that's helped in the end, the way it's, it looks, it's quite rough and uh, it's quite Central Europe, the flavor, it's very, got a lot of flavour, but, um, but I didn't care where he came from, I was going to try and get him, you know, it was, really it was the rest of his work. work, it was amazing, yeah. So what is, what is the song actually about? It's just an erotic piece of blank verse, <laughs> simply. But the video is like, there's a lot of things happening in that video. Well, is there any sort of symbolic things oh, that we should get? it's all symbolic. The more you see it, uh, I'm quite uh, shocked by it now because there's a lot of uh, heavy sexual symbolism in it that, that uh, you only realise after you've seen it a couple of hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see it a lot here, Andy. <laughs> but um, it's, I mean, it's artistically done. So, I mean, symbolism is okay, okay as uh, it's, it's it, that's sort of an artistic f uh, form is symbol symbolism if it's done well. Um, you can get over ideas that um, would be unacceptable. That, that clay model there is in, of you in the video, is there a clay yeah. model? Because yes. it looks exactly like you. I mean, it's yeah, we really were cutting in between. Yeah, so it's sometimes... really difficult to sometimes see whether it's when they yeah, made right. that cut. How yeah. did? How could he possibly do an a model of you that looks so good? Did it take a long time? Yeah, you, they made a, a cast, a plaster cast, and you have to sit in this uh, cast for 20 minutes, and it gets it go the temperature goes up by 20 degrees inside as it dries, and then they have to get it off and quick. Yeah. And otherwise. Uh, Otherwise, your uh, something happens to your blood circulation. <laughs> or something. But, but uh, it was just like having a mud mud pack. Actually, oh. it was quite uh, quite refreshing afterwards, getting it off. Mm, but I really like the video. It looks great. And uh, we're going to be talking some more. But let's first see a video. I think this is Mori Kante and Yeka Yeka, some French music. Yeah. Fourteen years. Why do you need a solo career now? Uh, it's time to start. Um, trying other things musically. I mean, we've been playing together 14 years. We're still playing together. We're still doing tours and we're still um, planning records. We're going to be doing a record later in the year. But um, it's time to start, uh, exp you know, trying other things, I think. And everyone's really getting involved in lots of other projects. And uh, when the band's been going as long as we have, there's a... Um, it sort of ticks over. And there's a period of time during the year where you, are, you have the time to do other things. Was there any, I mean, when you started The Stranglers, did you know that we were going to stay together for 14 no, years? I, I mean, no, that's very idea. seldom. I know. That a band stays together. I know, I wouldn't have given it more than a year, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he goes. But uh, when you go into the studio as being Hugh Cornwall, the former of Stranglers, songwriter, and uh, you go into the studio now solo suddenly, mm. how do you not make the same music as you do when you're with Stranglers? Oh, because you're on. Um well, most of it I'd, I played myself with, uh, with the producer's help. And, um, and then various people to, came in to do specific things, like we needed live drums on a couple of tracks, like on this one we needed some live drums. Brought in live drama, but you just don't... I purposely didn't ask the other members of the band, because if it had been the same people, I mean, it would have, it would have been pointless to... We see, the way strangers work, we, we don't tell each... We don't determine... With my song, I can actually say to a drummer, look, I want you to play like this. 
Yeah. Whereas you as stranglers, a we all have our own ideas, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how do you actually define the difference between your music and the strangler sound? I, I really... No idea. <laughs> and it's... I'm glad it sounds... I hope it sounds different, otherwise there'd be no point in doing it. It's, uh, it might be more rhythmic, more music... Um, not more... more danceable, yeah. hopefully. And uh, it's probably more suggestive as well. But to me, it's really a big mystery how you can go in the studio and do different music for different bands. I really wonder about that. Anyway, we're going to see that Stranglers video all day and all of the night. And I bet there's probably a lot of people out there who's wondered to themselves, how come the Stranglers do a cover version? I mean, you've been doing your own songs for so long now. Yeah. I, it really made me wonder. Yeah. Why did you do... Well, we had a, a live LP coming out and we had no new material. When we write, it takes us a long time to write because we're all... Uh, working out our own ideas and our own parts for the song. It takes us ages to write songs. Um, so we had no new material around, but we needed a, 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 a song we could release off the live LP to promote the live LP. And uh, as live singles aren't very popular things, um, we decided to do that. Well, it's a good cover version. I liked it, but it was <laughs> just really strange that you did it. Anyway, let's see it. Expo with Hugh Cornwall. I'm going to see your video, Facts and Figure, now. And uh, that is from a soundtrack of a movie, isn't it? Uh, yeah, When the Wind Blows, yeah. How did, Last you, year. How, how did you get involved with doing a soundtrack? T totally by chance. It was, uh, the record was, uh, had been uh, recorded and um, I, I didn't want to use it on the album. And uh, Virgin, who handled the music to the film, said, could they use it? Would I mind if they used it on the uh, soundtrack album? And I said, uh, go ahead, fine. Because it's got the same lyrics. In the, in the lyrics, there's the title of the song, which I didn't realise until about six months later. Just, which is so it was just a coincidence? Yeah. Oh. I couldn't understand. I thought, why on earth do they want this song for this movie? And about six months later, I suddenly realised, oh, oh that's it's got the title of the song, and I was really being slow, you know. <laughs> is that something you like to continue with, doing soundtracks for movies? Yeah, yeah. I've scored a couple of um, short films, mm. um, but I'm pre presenting um, the, the the scores I did for those to uh, various directors. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, uh, you actually played in movies as well, haven't you? You've been well, but, uh, it's it's a bit of a blink uh, career at the moment. If you blink, you miss me, you know. But um, it, they're slowly getting. You want you want More to continue with that? I mean, oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, you want to be serious with it? Definitely. I've actually written my own film. I have to because no one else has offered me any parts <laughs> <laughs> for a long time. But uh, I've actually written a script. Yeah, um, when are you going to do that? It sounds interesting. I don't know. I've got to find a buyer for it. Someone who's going to put up the money for it. Yeah. Well, if you need somebody in a part, I like. To well, actually, I need. I do need a Scandinavian au pair girl in it, actually. Oh, is that true? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind. You know, so just give me a call if you like. There is <laughs> actually. Love to play in a movie. Called Vivica Eriksson, her name is. Vivica Eriksson. Yeah, and she's from Finland. Oh, from Finland. Do you speak Finnish? Uh, no, I don't. That's that's different from all the other uh, Scandinavian languages, isn't it? So. Men du snakker faktisk en lille smule dansk. Ja, ja, lite, lite bra, lite bra. <laughs> little bro and a mix between Swedish and Danish. Yeah, something, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think it's perfect that he speaks Danish and Swedish, by the way. We're going to see that video now, uh, Facts and Figure, and there's this beautiful girl in this video. There's and two. Is there two? Yeah. I only know one. They look similar, but they they were... There were two. Oh, so you have two similar girls, almost twins, because they must be, because I only noticed one of them. Yeah. What is she doing in that video? Why have you chosen? Because you're not the sort of type that would just choose to put a model in a video to make it look good. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you are. Well, I just Why thought, not? you know, maybe you would have some reason for doing so. Um, well, they were good fun. They were nice girls. They needed the work. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? Let's see the video. Some of the fact that he actually likes having a lot of girls around him, he just said that. And um, that that video, I got some old footage of that video on that video at home, where you're playing at a live gig and there's all these strippers on stage. Battersea Park, yeah. 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 And these girls had nothing to do with you, you that no, wasn't even arranged. I've never seen any of them before in my life. And they just jump up on stage. Yeah, yep. There we were playing a, playing a concert, minding our own business, and suddenly, don't know where they came from, all over the place, naked girls. It was quite embarrassing. <laughs> I had to close my eyes while I was playing, just <laughs> couldn't concentrate. I mean... I bet you had it. Well, the police oh, came shocked. and closed it shocked. for you. I was so shocked. I've never seen anything like that before in my life.
<laughs> well, anyway, your music has changed a bit. I mean, since you started, since the beginning, a bit, it's, it's changed totally. Yeah, it's changed totally. <laughs> and is that is that because of a, as a personality change as well? Have you changed oh, yeah. as a person a lot? Sure. I mean, um, I think if you don't, then you, you have. haven't really um, gained much out of life. I mean, you get you know you get old, you learn by your mistakes. Hopefully, yeah. you repeat some of them, but some of them you don't. You know. How is it being a grown-up punk? Because, I mean, a I punk? guess... You, <laughs> who's, a, who's a punk? <laughs> well, you used to be, didn't you? No, I mean, you used to be that, someone else. That, that, that business of, of the whole punk scene. How is it now being, being well, let's call it, how is it being a grown-up wild kid? Because you were a wild kid. Uh, it's, it's just further down the line, and you're just... Uh, I'm just very, very pleased that uh, I've had the opportunity, and I'm continuing, hopefully, to have the opportunity to... Uh, to, to do things and try try creating things and uh, and just uh, work make a living like that it's it's mm. very good feeling to do that it's uh, makes you feel very lucky because you are a creative person you also wrote a book at a time inside information is that something you would do again no I'm not too into writing books it's uh, it's a lot of work I'd much rather write a, a, a dialogues a screenplay because it's it's quicker I mean a book can take two or three years but you can write a might better write a play or a film in six months. So you haven't it's... got a lot of patience, then. I haven't. No, not. Um, well, I have. I've got diligence and discipline, but I, uh, I, I like instant gratification. Unfortunately, I'm a product of the modern world. So that's maybe what you're going to be moving into when you get fed up of the music business, if you ever get fed up. With oh, the music you can business. never get fed up with music business. No? I mean, it's 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 a rich and vivid tapestry. Well, I think I could get fed up with it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you might be moving into sort of directing movies and getting into the oh, movies. I'd never so direct a movie. No, you don't want to direct it. Just nightmare. write it. I couldn't grow a big enough beard anyway. You need to. You always all film directors grow big, oh, do they? beards. Yeah. I oh, do they. Well, I've never seen a film director, but maybe I will one day <laughs> if I get that part. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me it's here been nice on Easter today, Thanks. and uh, good luck with everything. Your album is coming out in June. Yeah. And just before we leave, I just have to ask you if you have any tour plans. N um, not at the moment, no, not with this uh, record. But some with more video plans. Maybe? Um, uh, yeah, we're doing Stranglers. We're doing some dates next month in in um, in Europe, actually in Iceland, Austria, Austria, hopefully Czechoslovakia and um, Germany. Okay. In June. And just before we leave, you just one second thing that Hugh Cornwall solo doesn't mean the end of Stranglers. Of course not, no. no not at all. Okay, thank you for coming, and I'll see you next week, honey.